Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Good afternoon, peeps. I am the drunken one. Y'all knew that already? <laughs> I am back for another Homebrew Wednesday. I don't have a whole lot going on this uh, this week, but here I chime in and... Uh, I got things way out of order already. I already cracked the top on it. You missed the can of smoke. You missed the damn hiss. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. I just got back from... Oh, yeah. Notes. <laughs> I just got back from uh, Livingston, which, uh, unless you live in Texas here, uh, it's about an hour and a quarter from where I live. Gives me plenty of time to... Uh, 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 to uh, catch up on some videos. Uh, you might be noticing I'm wearing some different glasses. Uh, uh, my sight hasn't changed a whole lot, so he said, but it's been a couple of years since I've been there. I went ahead and, and got some new specs. Uh, my other ones were getting a little scratched up from being around work stuff and this and that. Um, uh, glasses are expensive anymore, guys. I didn't spend a whole lot for the frames, but I got like all the upgrades. I, I, I'm like the no, bi uh, the no line bifocals guy and um, uh, I did get the transitions, obviously, you can see when I first started, it's not really bright, I'm in the shade over here, really, I mean, it, it, it's sunny over here, you know, it's sunny over there, and I'm not even over there, uh, so anyway, the, these new transition technology or whatever, it's, I guess it's made it to where they, they activate even, even better, and before, like, they, when you're in your car, because your car has, a uh, UV rated, like, windshields and stuff to keep the glare out of your eyes, they even work in there, which the old ones didn't. Anyway, it was time for an upgrade. Uh, my sight changed, but but not much for the worst. So there we are. So that's the new specs. I got a couple pair actually. These have frames, and the other ones are a lot lot like the first ones uh, that y'all been seeing me wear. If you notice, my glasses were cocked for the longest time. That's because I fell out the porch. I mean, my wife kicked me out the porch. I mean, I fell out the porch, and uh, we brought it back to brought the the, the frames. And, and after finding the second lens, <laughs> they put them back together and they left them kind of whoppy job and they've been kind of twisted and they had the angry V look. And, and uh, so after I made the order and got it all said and done with the new glasses, I straightened my other ones out. Uh, and, and it worked and I didn't break them. Had I known I could, <coughs> excuse me, if I had known, <coughs> excuse me, had I known I could have straightened them out before, I would have uh, straightened them out and they weren't really so scratched up. But anyway, I did the buy one get one which sounded like a great deal in, in theory but yeah it was like almost $870 later I got two sets of glasses uh, with all the, the, the frames again were the cheaper ones but the, the, uh, the, the technology is, is like the high definition and, and transition and, and no line bifocals they're, uh, they're a little bit stronger and they're taking a little getting used to so I keep my other ones for work because I don't want to be disorientated at work. It's all right at the house, but anyway, let's get on with the damn four. Sorry, guys, I've already babbled for three and a half minutes. I got a glass. Uh, these are just notes, just saying when I went to work. You don't want to know. And yeah, so I wasn't there very long, but uh, I started intentionally late uh, because he was supposed to have brought me some materials. Okay, this is my uh, my porter, my uh, my porter. This is this is my dry stout. This is a 3.2 pro. Uh, Good night, I am terrible with my mouth today. This <laughs> is a dry tow, and this dry tow is, is a 4.2% ABV. You can see, I think I've already done a little what's up on this, but um, look at the color of the head. It's kind of a brown khaki. Anyway, that's what I'm drinking right now. Uh, the only really homebrew related thing that I did is, is, is y'all seen my, I, I brewed that IPA. Uh, yesterday, okay, actually this is Tuesday, uh, Monday, Monday, because I, I, I took a little time off, good thing too, because my kid was acting up at school and I had to go get him. Anyway, Monday, um, yesterday, I, I, uh, I did the hop drop, the, uh, the, the dry hopping to the uh, IPA, my 10 gallons of IPA, there was one ounce each of a uh, kind of hops that I don't remember. Okay, so that's all good. And so by like this weekend, what they say, four days in, four days in, uh, hit me with some info in the comments. Uh, I did it Monday. So I'm thinking, you know, if I've got time off Thursday afternoon or Friday afternoon or whatever, 
go ahead and pop them in some bottles and they'll be ready to go for long. Anyway, this is the, uh, this is the stout. Woohoo, stout. Happy Humphrey Wednesday. On a Tuesday. Yeah, that way I can get it done out of the way. There's a fly, there's a big ass fly right on top of the damn, right on top of the camera. Anyway, it's not important. Okay, not breaking it this time. I try to stop him from hitting the ground with, you know, with my foot, but... Remember that time just right over there, I dropped that sucker down, it was one, I think it was a Looney Leary, uh... Okay, that fly's gonna bug me. Uh, it was a Looney Leary beer, and I, I was gonna save the glass, it wasn't nothing special, I was gonna save the, uh, uh save, save the bottle and, and, and reuse it, because that's the kind of guy I am. And I dropped it down and turned it off of my foot, and it said, clink! And that clink was the breaking point. Alright, cheers! I heard that same kind of clink. I used to have a, a two-liter uh, Erlenmeyer flask, and I thought, I, you know, I thought I'm gonna just do this outside, and, and, and I don't really have the, the proper way to go about this. So I stuck like a, a torch, <laughs> you know. Uh, it wasn't not, not like a blow torch. Well, I mean, it was, well, it's like a propane torch, you know. It's like something that you would uh, maybe uh, solder with if you do that. Like with a torch. Anyway, so I put the torch like quite a ways below it, and I thought, hey, it's all good. It looked back at my videos. I'm sure I complained about when I broke it. I'm brand, it wasn't brand new. I used it just a little while though. Anyway, it was a two liter, two liter Erlenmeyer flask. You know, I really haven't had much to drink. I, I, I did indeed. I said it was an hour and a half or hour and a quarter or whatever uh, from Livingston here. I drank one and a half of those, uh, uh, the 10.2% uh, uh, Carboc, uh, uh, the stout, uh, this is an Imperial, the other one's Imperial stout, that, that three-legged lab lab thing, which spooked me so much when I was up there. I'm kind of slurry already, that's not like me. <laughs> anyway, uh, what, what really feared me when I got it off of the, uh, you know, out of the coal spot there, is that was the last little four pack, and you know, I asked the, the the clerk there. I said, "Y'all gonna get these back?" And of course, he's he's Iranian type, and so he didn't uh, take no offense if you're Iranian, whatever. Uh, he didn't speak really good English, and and he said, "Oh no, this is those are just samples. They're only four. Well, he doesn't understand. No, they're they're really they're really good beer, and they're four for a reason. Because if you drink all four of them at once, you probably won't be able to walk straight. And uh, he said he wasn't sure that he's gonna get them back." I can't find them around here. I can't find them in, in our nearest bigger city would be Conroe. I can't find them anywhere around Conroe. Which is, uh, you know, you'd think if they have them out there in Livingston, that, that they, and, and the weird thing is they have those, but they don't have the other very common ones that we do have here in Conroe. They, they, they had like extremity beer, but nothing kind of intermediate before it gets down to the golden piss water. Um, so it's kind of odd that I found him out that way. I meant to send one of those to 8-Bit Chicken. His, uh, his box already went out and uh, he didn't get one of those. But he did get some uh, uh, samples from uh, something around the local area. I think the next uh, one going out is going to be to Crunchberry, Captain Crunchberry as he's known on the, on the interwebs. Hey, I'm starting to, I like these glasses. What do y'all think of the frames? They look a little different, huh? I have another set that's, that's like more like my first set. Sorry, I got sidetracked there, but it, but it's got that same technology of the really darkening frames. These are supposed to be like they darken faster, they they lighten faster. Uh, these are supposed to be the high definition ones, and yeah, I, I can see that happening. Yeah, when I when I look at my telephone, like within arm's reach, like holding it, obviously. Uh, oh my Jesus! <laughs> I made a comment on a video yesterday. See, I'm making this long now, aren't I? Okay. Anyway, I made a comment on a video yesterday. I said. Because uh, I, I was in the studio, and and uh, uh, so I'm watching it on the flat screen. I said I can see the wall through the TV <laughs> with my new shades, with my new specs. <laughs> anyway, okay, let me get out of here. I've taken up enough of y'all's time rambling about myself and my shades. And uh, anyway, happy homebrew Wednesday, guys, y'all. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to do this time. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know. He always does that, and then he goes back to something else. I really want to take time. Not like I haven't taken enough already. I want to take time to thank my subscribers, old, new, and otherwise. I really do appreciate the fact that you all are are, are watching me uh, on on you know whenever I'm putting out my videos. I really do sincerely appreciate that. 
I enjoy all the comments. Uh, sometimes I get a little behind, so if, if I hadn't talked to you, you said something and I hadn't spoke to you in a day or two, I'll get to you. I really will. I do indeed enjoy all the comments. I love all the subscribers, old and new. Uh, the only thing that, that kind of cheeses me off is, is, this, is the people who subscribe who have no videos, and, and so I can't thank them for subscribing to me. So if you're one of those people, this is your, this is your glory time. I thank you, the one with no videos <laughs> that I can't thank. <laughs> I'm doing that now. All right, guys. Uh, with that being said, nice and easy, cheesy. Let me get the hell out of here. Y'all have a good. Uh, Y'all have a good rest of the week. Uh, uh, brew up some beer, and uh, I got some more stuff to talk about. We'll do it next time, though. I I'm already taking too long. All right. Uh, may the force be with you. All that wonderful stuff. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All that wonderful stuff like I usually say. Thank you again, guys. All y'all. All right. Cheers out. Uh, cheers up. Peace out. Uh, adios. See, there comes a comment now. Did y'all hear that? All right. <laughs>